kasi may parang nandun na rin yata yung mga grupo mo eh. <laughs> I'm not sure kung audition yun, pero nagpa-reading sila. Nagpa-reading kami. Um, for Tether, nagpa-reading sila sa akin. Sa Zoom lang yun. For Rookie naman, uh, oh, nag-reading din kami ng table and eat. So, yun. <laughs> Tapos, before na sa Bubblegum ka, uh, um, pero yung kahit hindi ka na sa Bubblegum ngayon, yung mga grupo nandun pa rin. Uh -huh. Kaya, minsan nakikipag ka, nakikita kayo, minsan may mga, uh -huh. may mga bonding kayo na nakakabuo kayo ng project. Kasi na-mention sa akin ni Paolo Contis na parang kasama ka rin doon, uh -huh. uh -huh. may idea. So, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yun. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin. Siguro mas nagtitrickle down lang ngayon na kung sino yung talagang mga meron akong in... I mean, kahit friends ko naman talaga siguro most of them. Pero mas lumalabas lang na kung sino yung beyond friendship, yung relationship namin. Na, uh, na mas nakaka-work ko pa sa ibang aspeto bukod sa bubble gun before. Like, lalo na si Kuya Bito eh, diba? Na kahit sa Pipito naman, ever since kasi naman nag-start, magkasama pa rin yun sa Pipito. Si na Paolo Conti, si na Kuya Pao naman. Yun nga eh, na beyond bubble gun relationship namin na parang kahit sa mga hindi comedy. <laughs> Basta uh, alam namin, parang kahit alam kong, oy, acting pisto kayo pa, parang kailangan mo ko panoorin dito. <laughs> may may ganun kaming support sa isa't isa. And, and yan, sina Ate Chad, then sina Archie, na sila yung karoon ko lagi kapag nagpe-prepare sa GMA Ball. <laughs> kami kami magkakasama. So, dito, parang it became like a reunion of sort kasi Uh, wala eh, dito lang kami nung past two bilas nang nangyari, wala na ako sa bubble gun eh. So, dito lang kami nakita ulit nung nakabihis. <laughs> so, yun, sabay-sabay kami sa red carpet, you know. uh, Last na lang, um, do you see yourself, Ben, do you see yourself na one of these days mag-direct ka ng saksin yung malayo at film? Oo, eventually, Or, I, I hope so. I hope so. Kasi yung mga artista na nag-direct na rin, di ba? So ikaw may mga nag-jack ka na rin? May pa, parang meron na. Siguro tapusin ko lang muna yung mga sinusulat ko. <laughs> Kasi puro ako plano, hindi ko pa naman magagawa-gawa. But, but eventually, sana, sana umabot sa ganun. And that would be an honor. Pero sa ngayon parang nilalaro ko lang muna, binibuild ko muna yung confidence and yung knowledge ko sa pag-direct. Hindi mo naman masyadong pinipilit. No? Hindi, hindi naman na parang porket artista ako na, oh, ako na ulit. Oh. Ito yung sariling material ko muna para alam ko muna kung paano mo papakiramdaman yung gano'n. Sige, thank you. Good luck. Si Iba na lang magtatanong ito po sa love life. <laughs> thank you po, Tito Gorgi. Ang next question natin ay magagaling kay Sir Jun Ladin of Abante. Ay, Nicole. Ay, ano? Hello. Si Gorgi nagulat pa, pero kala ko hindi talaga ready. Ang dami yung tinanong. <laughs> Parang naubos niya yung tawag. Sumusubo ba ng pasta ito? Uh, okay. Nagulo ako na rin lang siya na, ano, na hindi siya ready. Pero pinagandaan niya to. Three days na. Oo, <laughs> pero yan, congratulations. Dalawa pa yung entry mo. No? Oh, Thank you. Oh, medyo nagulat kami kanina kasi rookie lang yung sinabi sa amin. Oh, mas bongga pala isang uh, mas mahirap yung pronounce. Kasi feeling ko nahirapan yung uh, si Sammy Rodriguez na Doon sa title ng isa, kaya rookie na lang nilagay niya. Pero ano nga yung second entry mo? Sorry. Tether, tether, tether. T-E-T-H-E-R. I-flash na kaya natin dito. T-E-T-H-E-R. Oo, yun. Tether, tether. T-E-T-H-E-R. E-R, oo. Directed by G-N-R. Piling ko kasi may T-H, ayaw niya magbukang trying hard, so hindi niya nalagay. Pero yan, congratulations, Mikoy, no? Pero siyempre, Uh, uh, mabili ka lang ngayon, ang dami mo talagang projects. Uh, pero uh, bukod nga dito sa two uh, entries mo, no, nakaka-excite kasi uh, kasali ka rin sa maging sino mo. Ng, uh, maging sino ka man. Uh, yeah. uh, maging yeah. sino ka man, yan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at prime time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, gaano ka ka-excited? Kasi uh, may dalawang movie ka na, may prime time series ka pa. And gaano, ka, gaano kalaki yung role mo dito? Um, gaano kalaki? I wouldn't know yet. I mean, I wouldn't say no kung gaano siya kalaki. Pero um, yung Sir Ewing kasi na to, di ba dati ang cast dito si Robin Padilla, si Dennis Padilla, tapos Sharon, tapos ang kontrabida si Edu. So si... Robin Padilla, siya na si David na kawa ko mo yun. Yung Sharon Cuneta, ako, the joke na. Yung Sharon Cuneta, si Barbie, si Edu Manzano, yung katrabida, si Wancho, 
Tapos ako yung Dennis Padilla. Ah, ikaw yung so, Dennis. Oh. Ikaw yung magkukomit. Oo, oh, parang gano'n. Parang yun nga. Yun nga mga sinay mangyayari. <laughs> Kung baga, uh, parang ang laki. Kasi uh, sa movie, ang dami eksena together. Yeah, yeah. Laging kasama si Dennis Padilla, oh. di ba? Oh. Oh. So, ang dami mong taping days sa buong gano'n. Yung masaya sa pag-iing best friend ng vida lang. Ang dami taping. <laughs> so, ikaw na bang ano? Pwede yung sabihin pang bansang Uh, DMF edition. Hindi <laughs> naman kasi may buboy filler pa eh. <laughs> Malay mo, kakabugin mo siya kasi busy siya sa itbulag ah. Ikaw din pang teleseri. Hindi lang yung nilaloko kay buboy yun na parang lahat na kumukuha sa akin na best friend na roles. Lagi yung sinasabi na buboy hindi ka kasi pwede ako tuloy kinukuha. <laughs> Gisi ka na masyado eh. De, pero, uh oh I think it's, it's a fun role. It's always a fun to be... Um, na maging gano'n na best friend or ano man tawag dun. Pero it's always a challenge din kung paano ko siya iiba in every life. So ngayon, buti na lang, uh, very fresh dahil hindi ko pa nakaka-work before ever yung team na to. Uh, Sinodirect Enzo Williams. Uh, and and it's, it's, it's refreshing na parang nakakahawa yung enthusiasm nila na parang siguro, I think it's, it's become like a norm na sa akin na gawin tong roles na to. But with Direct Enzo, parang I'm somehow motivated to make it even more different than kung ano yung mga nakasanayan ko na. So it's, 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 it's work. <laughs> it's challenging. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and congratulations. Yeah. Hindi na ako masyado magtatanong kasi lahat daw magtatanong, including the waiters. So, <laughs> so eto, thank you. Magisala. <laughs> Thank you po, Tito June. Ang next question natin ay magagaling naman kay MJ Galeon of Glitz.ph. MJ! Hey! Hi! 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 Dalawang entries, ha? Oh, at alam, medyo na ano pa kayo yung dalawang entries kasi parang hindi ko naman entries yung mga yun. But still, you're, you're starring in two cinema ngayon. Personally, I would consider that I'm starring in one. And, okay. and the other one, I did a row. Uh, okay. Kasi parang it outshines na ang stars kasi sa rookie ay si, uh, si Pat tsaka si Aya. So sila yung talaga, it's, it's, it's a girl's love story. So hindi ako yung ano doon. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's about them. Yeah. Wait, balikan ko lang kasi yung yeah. tether, it's an internet term, right? Or, I, I think it is. Bakit? So, ayun, ayun sinabi mo, parang oo nga. Right? Kasi dati, parang when we share internet, I'm not sure, parang nag-tether ka na ba? Parang ganun yung, I'm not sure. Ah, so, pero bakit ah. tether yung title, given what you shared earlier, na you feel the same things even if you're in two separate locations? Yeah. Um, wow. Oo nga, no? Tether. Kasi mm -hmm. tether. I, I think kasi tether because connected. Yes. Like, connected kami in a way na Like, almost literally, we really are connected. Kasi lahat ng maramdaman niya, nararamdaman ko. Lahat ng maramdaman ko, nararamdaman niya. Kahit kunwari, tinanong niya ako kung gutom na ako, tapos sinabi ko, hindi pa. Alam niya, nagsisim niyo halin ako, kasi nararamdaman niya, gutom na ako talaga. Like, ganun, ganun ka, ano, ganun yung maging takbo ng relationship namin. But at the same time, I think figuratively, kaya rin siya tethered. Kasi, it's, it's, it's a really, to be honest, it, yung relationship ni Kate and Eric, nung dalawang characters doon, it's really toxic. So, andun yung pagiging tethered mo in a way na, di ba, when you're in a toxic relationship, sometimes, or most of the time, hindi ka aware. Mm -hmm. Like, un unless ikaw yung nasa labas ng relationship. Yeah. Pero ikaw yung nasa loob, you wouldn't be aware. So, mm -hmm. parang, there's this certain, um, parang hold on you. Mm -hmm. Na kahit anong sabihin sa ng friends mo na, yung wala mo na kasi, like, huwag ka na dyan, kasi hindi naman healthy yan. Pero may humihinda sa'yo pabalik. So I think it's all about that feeling na paghila sa'yo papalik. Kung bakit tethered. You're tethered to this person. Gusto mo man o hindi. Parang piliin mo man o hindi. Parang meron kang something's wrong so, back to that person. Oo, oh, oh, eh. Ganun. So I think that's what this movie is about. Na I, I think you could really do it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, that's true. Okay. It, pwede. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> In terms of genre, yung in earlier interviews mo kasi when Cinemalaya was launched, it's a sexy movie. But ikaw, how will you define it in terms of a genre? No, I think it's more of sci-fi. I think it's more of a like Black Mirror episode. Black Mirror. It's, it's, it's more of that. Uh, it's, it's so fucked up. It's, it's twisted to be honest. Pero, 
yung sex scene kasi parang I think just to help promote the film. Yun na lang yung sabi <laughs> naman. Okay. Okay. At first time ko rin naman kasi talagang gumawa ng ganito ka intimate na scenes. Mm -hmm. Which was also a big deal for me. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi siya ganun ka big deal sa material eh. Yeah. Like it just so happened na meron siya in sex scenes. Yeah. Para lang mas ma-elaborate, mapakita na in some ways pa kami tethered. So uh, emotionally, physically, and sexually. Yun lang yung pinakita ko. So... Yun, siguro pampambuhat na rin yun na, oo, oh, may sex scenes. But it's not a sexy film at all. And, and yeah. dun sa teaser na, sobrang patikim lang yung pinakita ng press ko nung sinimalaya. And it's also not just like a tweetums relationship mm -hmm. film also. Na hindi siya yung, di ba, yung usual um, trope na dalawang leads lang buong pelikula, the girl and the guy, and then mm -hmm. it gets complicated, pag best friend, blah, blah. Like, hindi siya ganun. Like, ito talagang... I don't know, it's, it's fucked up. It's, okay. it's fucked up. It's really toxic. <laughs> okay, you mentioned about the intimate scene. Well, I have hesitation in doing that because looking at your body of work, it's first, if I'm not mistaken. First, yes, yeah. yes, first, you're right. Um, I did have uh, reluctances because um, I thought I was ready in the way that I thought how an actor should be ready for those kind of scenes and roles. Mm -hmm. But then, like, it all boiled down to magiging independe pa rin daw sa kusina yung partner ko. Mm -hmm. So, buti na lang si Jory Bell, yung, yung partner ko dito. Mm -hmm. and, and also, nag-humirit kami na parang, can we have workshops together before we start shooting? Kasi kung lahat sa set na lang natin gagawin, baka, baka kung anong lumabas. Like, huwag natin shot ganun, ganun, ganun. And agree naman kasi yun yung nasa isip ng producers and ng director. So, they uh, got Miss Messi Manamara mm -hmm. to, to facilitate intimacy workshops for us para lang mas with the director and the producer para mas mas may understanding na kung paano gawin yung yung, yung scenes na ganun, which is actually life changing so and even on the set nandun siya uh, pagdating sa mga scenes na ganun binabantayan niya so hindi lang para magbantay para rin mag, mag choreograph mm -hmm. para dayain sa camera mm -hmm. and then how to prepare and like to be really, kasi, siguro kasi nasa culture natin ng mga Pinoy na ang hirap mag-usapan ng sex. Mm -hmm. So ang hirap mag-set ng boundaries pagdating sa sex. Eh sex scenes yung gagawin. So doon talaga nagkaroon ng general understanding na okay lang. Hindi, pag-usapan natin kasi kailangan. Mm -hmm. So kunwari, yung details like, okay, kung hindi daw start yung scene, inihingal ka na kasi marapit ka na labasan dyan. So what do you do to prepare? Di ba totoo naman eh? Like gano'n, na mahirap siyang pag-usapan but to portray the reality of the scene. So, you have to be that specific, the same way as kung paano kang sa ibang scenes na hindi sexual. Mm -hmm. So, so I think it's, it's, it's it, it was liberating, that workshop. It was liberating, and, and it showed on set. And I think it showed some, some work na ginawa namin for this film. Doon ako excited eh, kasi kahit ako, wala pa ako nasisilip sa pelikula eh. Ay, pa na pa na pa na. Wala, as zero. So, sa, sa August 7, sa premiere, doon ko pa lang makikita lahat yun. Okay. You mentioned si Jory Bell, uh, I saw her Instagram. Parang hindi actress din siya. Yeah, yeah. I think, I, you know, she does a lot actually. She acts and then she does production work. And she does theater and she does film. Uh, pero first time ko siya maka-work. So basically, parang ikaw yung nag... Ano ba? How, does, how do we term it? Nagdadala dito sa kanya? Because she's kind of relatively new in the industry? Or? Uh, parang hindi naman. Kasi when we work naman, she... she She's experienced. Uh -huh. Like, she's, di, di lang ako personally familiar sa body of work niya. Pero, like, it didn't matter. Kasi when we were on set, when we were doing workshops, like, she was doing her part. So, <laughs> yun na yun. So, yeah. So, uh, it, she, she was there. She was, yeah, working. Okay. Last question for me. Hindi pa namin na, ano yung buong ten and ten and ten and threes. Anong feeling mo for best actor dito? Ah, such a, a, a difficult question kasi... Sige, inject ko lang. Because Barbie Forteza, nag-define talaga yung pag... Well, it's just us. Yung pagiging actress na... Which one? Then supporting actress for Marikina. Parang ibang level yung ginap ng pagiging yeah. actress. So, so magaling, like, yeah. magaling din naman talaga. As in, magaling si Barbie. Mm -hmm. Like, alam natin yun. Minsan lang nakatakpan siya nung... Kung na-like yung cloud siguro or yung... yung the yung nang nang brand niya yeah. tatak tatapunan siya ng brand yung yes, sa yes. galing niya na yun yung mas nakikita ng tao pero alam naman natin na kung kano siya but 
Napag-usapan kami na actually for this. Mm-hmm. Kasi pag-usapan ako sa maging sino ka man. Mm-hmm. Parang may time na nalita ako sa story ko. <laughs> Kasi uh-huh. galing ako press ko ng Sino Malaya. Mm-hmm. And, and yun, napag-usapan namin yun na... Yun nga eh, na parang... Bottom line is parang... Iba kapag motivated ka sa pelikula. Mm-hmm. Iba rin yung pag-motivated ka sa teleserye. Mm-hmm. And I think, being a great actor means you can deliver both. Like, regardless, like, kung kailangan ka para sa ganitong teleserye, dahil kailangan mag-create ganito yung role mo, at magaling ka pa rin doon. At pagdating naman sa pelikula, na kung ano mang role ibigay din sa'yo, like, I think, I think tapos na yung, for me, eh, tapos na yung times na sinasabi natin na magagaling ay nasa indie lang. Mm-hmm. Tapos yung teleserye pag mainstream, like, ano, sikat lang yan, pero hindi yan magaling eh. But mm-hmm. it's, it's, I don't think that there was even a case before kasi siguro ay hindi lang nakita yung galing mga na, 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 mga nag-delete sa TV kasi mas natatabunan sila ng branding nila pero magaling din naman talaga sila kung titignan mo or and vice versa so I think that's yun, yun siguro yung mindset na na, na, na parang nakatulong sa akin to uh, try to uh, not excel but give everything sa kahit Anong gawin ko, TV, theater, or film? Is that a really good actor, a great actor, nor knows how to adjust to the medium? So, with this Cinemalaya, this entry, parang ngayon lang ako nagpilikula ulit ng ganito. Nang may ganitong role, na may ganitong uh, caliber yung, yung festival. So, nakaka-intimidate and nakakatakot, pero nakaka-excite kasi Yung mga manonood sa akin, hindi naman to yung parang, ah, si Bigoy, like, di ba? Eh, si Pipito, gano'n, Roxy, gano'n. Like, dito naman parang manonood sa'yo, parang talaga yung film enthusiast, eh. So, dun, dun ako mas na-excite na, okay, ano na kaya yun, ano na kaya pakikita nila kayo? Or ano na makikita ko sa work ko ngayon? Yeah. Congratulations, Sr. Benny. By the way, congratulations, Billy.